Today's video is going to be my curly hair routine. I really wanted to make this video. I've been really into curly hair and going all natural lately. So I was like, why not show the people what I do to view my curly hair routine? That's why I am a little wet sewer rat right now. You can actually already see my little waves forming. Disclaimer, I have waves. I do not have curls. Um, they're pretty loose waves. So let's get on with the video. So what I usually use in the shower is for shampoo, I use the Argan Oil plus Moroccan Oil from Organics. This stuff's really nice. I really, really like it. Also, I use the Refreshing Scalp Tea Tree Mint Conditioner from the same brand. Again, really, really like them. They work well for my hair. Sometimes I will do a deep conditioner and I really like the Body Shop, the Banana Hair Mask. Really smells like literally so, so good. <sighs> just smells like a smoothie like a banana smoothie um i use this probably i want to say once a week i use a deep conditioner but i do only wash my hair twice a week recently i've just gotten also some clarifying products and detox this is from nexus it's a clean and pure detox scalp scrub however you can put this on your ends as well just getting rid of that extra buildup. i also use the aveeno apple cider vinegar blend hair rinse i usually just focus this guy mostly on the ends because this guy is more so for the scalp do these guys twice to one times a month just because you know we're trying to clarify our hair so we can really get those waves popping out on the curly hair chart I might put it right here i am probably i want to say a 2a so i got like a slight wave some i have 2b curls but mostly just 2A, like they're very, very loose. This is for my loose wave girlies out there. So I only brush my hair when I'm in the shower. So I brush it like twice a week, I would say. And I use a wide tooth comb. I have my conditioner in and then I'll brush my hair and then I'll get out of the shower. And I don't even brush my hair out of the shower. So especially with you girls out there or guys that have loose waves, um, don't brush your hair because it's totally just going to take it right out because our, our our hair curl pattern or whatever is so fragile that anything can honestly get rid of it. So yes, I do recommend this step a lot. Your hair will get knotted. So if your hair gets like super knotted throughout the week, then go ahead and brush it out. Um, but yeah, I could make a new video on that too if you guys want where I will show you my refreshing and how I refresh my hair so it gets back to that cute wavy stage. So we're starting from not brushed hair, out of the shower, fresh. You grab your microfiber cloth. I recommend microfiber because it just helps with the frizzing and stuff. Nobody wants a frizz, like nobody needs that in their life. And you're just taking out the excess water. So now that we did that little crunching with our microfiber towel, now it's to add the fun product. So I use actually quite a bit of products. I switch between the two. So I just got this guy. It's the AG Hair Care Recoil. I really like this product. However, it's super expensive. So I don't like to use it every time I do this. So I'll either switch between this guy and the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie cream thing. I really really like this guys. I also like for my curling product is to add a little bit of a gel. I really like the Garnier Fructis Pure Clean Styling Gel. This one actually is like super curly girl method approved I think because it just has like nothing bad. Like this is 98% natural so so if you guys are all about the natural stuff this guy's really nice and it's like three bucks. So I also will combine these two together usually. Use this one by itself because it does have a little bit of a stiff texture so if you add these two then you're gonna get that crunchy effect ow i just slammed my finger nobody wants that crunchy effect we want those nice voluptuous waves curls whatever you guys have but first just to confuse you guys we're gonna start off with a leave-in conditioner i am using and it's a 10 this stuff is actually a miracle guys like it's truly amazing it's expensive as hell but it's like so good for the hair so highly recommend Grabbing this guy, I'm gonna take only three pumps. And then we're gonna apply this with our hair upside down and using that scrunching motion again. Now going into our curl cream, like I said, I'll be using the Shea Moisture this time around. I only take a really small amount, like literally that's it. Because I have such loose waves, and this is a good tip for you guys that have the loose waves, if you put too much of a heavy product in, 
it's just gonna weigh it down and it's not even gonna form so you know it's just gonna weigh the hair down and then you have your gel and you actually mix it together again a very small amount of gel because i really hate that crunchy effect i've never liked it on me for me anyway but if you guys like that like kind of stiff look then you guys do you now let's put this in our hair I do plop my hair. I like to use a t-shirt. I just find it dries a little bit better too because it's a little more airy. So grab a t-shirt. Basically, you just put your head upside down, plop your hair in there, and then tie it up with the sleeves. We love a good plop. <laughs> so now that we look extra super cute, I love this look on me. Plop your hair for about 30 minutes, or that's what I do, and then we'll get to the next step. So it's been a half an hour since we've been plopping. So we're going to take this guy out now. Boom. I'm going to go back into using my microfiber cloth. And we're just going to soak up any other little bits of water. So now it's time to diffuse our hair. I actually did not know that you weren't supposed to scrunch up when you're diffusing your hair. I used to with doing that, don't even touch it because it can just mess up with your waves or curls that much more. So I'm going to flip my hair upside down and diffuse it that way because flipping it upside down just gives a little bit more volume and we want volume up in here. So let's diffuse our hair. <laughs> me then you only do it for 10 minutes because you don't have time and you don't want to just sit there and diffuse your hair i'm gonna let the rest air dry so yeah you can see like the waves slowly forming they're quite loose waves one thing i like to do though when it's at it's like i'd say it's like 70 percent dry i just like to go ahead and shake the roots out because it just gives that extra bit of volume and we all know we want volume we don't want to just glue to our head you know and that, that just doesn't look good um, you can also do the flipping method where you like go this side and then you flip it this way like every 10 minutes. I used to do that, but like now I just kind of like let it kind of dry the way I like to part it. So don't touch it, just let it do its thing and I'll come back to you guys when it's 100% dry so you can see my final result. So this is the finished look. I'd say it's like 95% dry. This is my waves. Um, They're pretty loose, mostly to a wave curls whatever you want to call them but there is some like two beers in there i would say like i'm pretty sure that's like a two beer right there but there's a lot of just like super loose ones but i noticed on youtube that there isn't a lot of 2a slash 2b wave routine so i hope this did help you guys out if it did make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and let me know also let me know if you guys want a refreshing hair routine because i can show you how to refresh so you guys have an amazing morning, day, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you can be notified all the time when I upload a new video. Stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy. Okay, bye!